But why do you guys know all this stuff? Did, weren't you just in cryo sleep too? No, the ship just woke you up last. Didn't need anything from you till now, I guess. You lucky son of a ape. Just trying not to take it personally, B. That's bad for your species, right? Please remove obstruction. I don't know. It's not the worst. <laughs> Everything on this deck is garbage. Speaking of which, lunch is ready. Why did that happen? Uh, because you don't exist yet? I gotta refresh the server so the shape will recognize your bio signature. But there's tickets, it's a whole thing, and other stuff, excuses, and so forth. Oh, hey, looks like we finally managed to condense the flavor and nutrition of an entire meal into just one pill. That's... We have? Oh. Terrible. In the distant future, the starship Icarus is dispatched to seek out strange new life and adventure. This is the story of the low-level support crew who maintained it. So now word is, we are not leaving Total Lack until we complete a diplomatic outreach sortie on the planet's surface. Earth orders. I'm not gonna lie. The Tigyakians have been genetically engineering themselves into unspeakable horrors of war for generations. The first scout we sent to the surface was found in so many pieces. They couldn't get a teleporter lock on the corpse. Honestly, I don't know if anyone will come back alive. Of course, we'll all be on the ship, far from danger, while Commander Spacefire leads the away team. So, um, take your time with lunch, I guess, is what I came in to say. Why would the captain go himself? Hey, if he dies, we all move up a rank. Really? Totally not how it works. Sorry to interrupt. Cody, please, there is an area for that. It's electric, plus a jarring. We have to do this. Is that even true? If you don't know, you're racist. Anyway, good news, everyone. Since we will be out of warp during the mission, we are back in contact with the mail servers on Earth. Okay, everyone, just take a, take a few minutes to catch up, and then we have to go clean the observation deck from when the commander fought his evil twins. So let's see what we got here, and deleted. Suck on a big, fat, extinct house cat, those who care about me. Wow. Hey, casual disdain is how my species shows love. You dog dick. Aww. Aww. My mom got me cookie credits for the replicator. Can I beam down and get her a picture of me slaying a mutant horror? Oh, I'll look into it, but no. Why can't I connect to mine? You don't exist. No credentials. Yeah, but couldn't you? Would, but. It's a holiday for my species. Fligsbrin, Corman, Burtman. Fligsbrin, Corman, Burtman was last month and you know it. Fine! Fine. There we go. Clicky, clicky, clue, and there. Gave you a temp login until I can get your biosig on the server. Mail away. Whoa. I have over 130,000 messages. Am I famous back on Earth now? Does anyone know? That's only like 15 messages a day. <laughs> well, for an astronaut, you're pretty bad at math. I've, I've only been away for two months. Frozen for two months. By Earth's time, 20 years. You know that, right? You've never heard of time dilation? Zelb's theory of relativity? He's our Einstein! Okay, to be fair, it it is in very small print on the brochure. Oh, so small. When you're traveling faster than the speed of light, time moves slower on the ship than it does on Earth. My old ship, we used to take bets on who got more mail from dead people. You all knew? Why did you sign up for this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because my destiny lies among the stars? I'm getting sued back on Earth, and I figured that this would be a good way to, you know, run out the clock. I'm waiting for a new generation of human women to mature. I've pretty much been through the existing pool already, if you know what I mean. Did you just claim to have had sex with all seven billion women on Earth? Let's just say I've sampled enough to get a statistically representative idea. My wife! Probably, what she looked like. She remarried! 
And my baby daughter's in college now. College? You must be a good dad. What, what does the world even look like anymore? You know? Are there zombies now? When I go back, I'm gonna have to shoot my zombie daughter in the head. Okay, okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. Let me HR you. Okay, that's nice. I guess I wish I knew what was happening back on Earth. Okay, well, what do you want to know? I'll scan a newstainment module for you. We, I thought we could only get mail. <laughs> right, but I'm at home on Earth. I can just load one up for you. I don't understand. You're on Earth? <laughs> well, you didn't even skim the brochure, did you? All HR reps on board Icarus are avatars. This is a cloned human body that I'm controlling from Earth. My real body's at my apartment in Omaha in a vat of psychoactive amplification gel. Well, I don't understand. Does, it, does that make you 20 years older than when I met you? And naked? In a vat? I am just a technician. The Ava who checked you into cryosleep, like myself, was an employee of the HR wing of ERF 20 years ago. We have all been trained to provide as seamless of an experience as possible. I have all your names on sticky notes. And yes, you have to be naked or else the gel doesn't work. So, uh, how are things going there? Is there any apocalypse or anything? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The only big thing is that about 10 years ago or so, scientists discovered that all the old Disney movies contain alien messages in a language we don't understand. The past decade has been a non-stop public orgy, but that's done. Everyone is Mormons now. Wow. This is not... Helpful. Really? Oh, I think it's amazing. Using my species' quantum entangling ability, I can use these limbs with perfect precision to, say, comfort a coworker. Are you productive again? Oh, my Gaia. I just realized why everyone who works on this ship is insane. The only people who would agree to do this job are anti-social losers and megalomaniacs with nothing to lose. And people who sign things without reading the fine print. Okay, gotta go. I'm retiring this week and honestly, I've just been coasting. <laughs> Ava, are you, you just, you don't stick this body in a cubby or something? Anyone could just. Everyone moved on without me. Everything I know is irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you look pretty shaken up when you freaked the fox out over there. So, did a little whatevering, and anyway, your signature's on record. Door should open for you. The works. Thank you. Don't. Helpfulness is how my species shows we hate you. Oh, okay. You got a little something. Okay, um, the commander is back aboard after averting war by teaching the alien empress love. So good. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Commander, he's <laughs> funny guy. All right, now let's scrub some viscera off of some bulkheads, huh? You gonna eat that? She's kind of the perfect woman, right? Controlled remotely by someone who doesn't remember any of the things I do and whose job it is to be nice to me. What about your wife? It's been 20 years, man. Move on. Just trying to help.